Fox News was accused of editing down Donald Trump's answers to remove his rambling and false claims during a barbershop interview in the Bronx earlier this month. In the network's coverage of the condescension, the ex-pres appeared concise and well-spoken, however, according to a report by CNN, Trump repeatedly rambled, went off-topic and needed prompting to answer questions. Although it is common practice to edit interviews to make them shorter and to focus on the most important topics, the report came after Trump went on several tirades demanding that CBS lose their broadcasting licenses because 60 Minutes edited Vice President Kamala Harris' election special interview. The 78-year-old former POTUS claimed the edits were attempts to interfere with the 2024 presidential election and insisted the sit-down would be the single biggest scandal in broadcast history. CBS and 60 Minutes, working with the Democrats, probably did the same thing with the crooked Joe Biden interviews as they did for Kamala, he wrote in a separate post via Truth Social. Changed his answers so that he looked intelligent, which he is not. With me they probably edit my answers to make me look as bad as possible, he continued. I have always felt that, but now, with the Kamala scandal, the worst and most blatant in the history of broadcasting, we have the proof that 60 Minutes and CBS play dirty. Real creeps? On Thursday, October 17, Trump even suggested Harris should be replaced as Democratic presidential nominee by President Joe Biden. 60 Minutes should be immediately taken off the air, election interference. CBS should lose its license. This is the biggest scandal in broadcast history, he wrote. Kamala should be investigated and forced off the campaign, and Joe Biden allowed to take back his rightful place. This whole sordid and fraudulent event is a threat to democracy. Despite Trump's calls for CBS to lose their rights to broadcast on television, Federal Communications Commission Chairwoman Jessica Rosenworcel confirmed that it would not be happening. While repeated attacks against broadcast stations by the former president may now be familiar, these threats against free speech are serious and should not be ignored, she said in a statement. As I've said before, the First Amendment is a cornerstone of our democracy. The FCC does not and will not revoke licenses for broadcast stations simply because a political candidate disagrees with or dislikes content or coverage.